I'm joined now by Chris Vanini, senior writer with The Athletic. Hey, Chris, thanks for being here. Yep, thanks for having me. I want to talk about your uh, article that you wrote in The Athletic today. You wrote that Northwestern needs to come clean. You were suggesting that the school really isn't being forthcoming with what's happening here. Yeah, I mean, that investigation that was just described, the only thing we know about it is a vague summary that Northwestern released on Friday as it was probably trying to hide this news. Uh, the only specifics we know are what the alleged whistleblower told the student newspaper on Saturday. Now there's been some other stuff from former players alleging some other things. So Northwestern has, has tried to keep this hidden under the rug, tried to move past it. But I think the people need to see what the investigation came up with if they spent six months doing this uh what what allegations were corroborated and what weren't the the investigation said the allegations were largely supported by the evidence yet it couldn't point to misconduct by any individual player or coach yeah in our last hour i spoke with bradley locker from inside northwestern he said he's talked to players who some of them seem shocked by the allegations other players though seem to confirm it take a listen to what he had to say I've talked to several former players who have told me they can't fathom that Fitzgerald allowed that this happened, that Fitzgerald is never a person they would have associated ever with hazing, and that if he had known, he would have stepped up and said something. But then I also have former players who have told me that have confirmed that this has happened, and maybe even as early as somebody who graduated in 2007. So what's your take on this? Do you think the coach knew? I mean, it's pretty hard not to if it was as widespread as the investigation seems to claim. There are allegations it was written on a whiteboard in the locker room, and those are ultimately the questions that need to be answered by being more public about this. We've seen the president now going back and saying, all right, I'm going to reconsider this punishment. That's only because of the public backlash. They didn't learn anything new. These allegations were already there. That's why this is suddenly bigger than the head coach now. This is suddenly engulfing the president and the decisions that he made, a president who's only been on the job for less than a year. Northwestern is a place a couple of years ago, students uh, uh, rebelled against the hiring of an, of an athletic director because of how he handled uh, a, a previous lawsuit that he was involved in regarding cheerleaders. So Northwestern is a school that has reacted to public backlash before, and now they've got you know the entire country looking at them. Yeah, and we'll see what happens here with that head coach. All right, Chris Vanini with The Athletic, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.